Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here. My name is Nick Hill. I'm here with uh, our co-host this evening, Ms. Laura Cantrell. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Where are you? There you are. Hi, Hi there, everybody. Who's playing here tonight, this evening? Well, Nick, we have we have two performers here this evening. Miss Amy McMahon Rigby. Ms. And? Miss Leanne Smith. And? <laughs> you, me, and Irene. We're going to be hearing from Leanne Smith this evening, later on in the program. And um, these two performers performed earlier this week in a in a kind of a horseshoe, which was a... Uh, an illustrious event, which you did not attend, I presume. But you could, and you can sort of right here by hearing uh, these two performers this evening. Leanne Smith will be with us later in the program, and immediately, if not sooner, we'll be hearing from a one Ms. Amy McMahon Rigby, one of the finest songwriters in all of New York City. Thank you. So shall I just go ahead? Okay. I packed up all of my dreams in a cardboard box. Rolled up the rug, swept the floor, and changed the locks. Said goodbye to my next door neighbor and remembered how you said you were doing me a favor. Well, I'll never believe another word that you say. We never did see things the same way. Now you're gone. I'm alone on moving day The kids are ready to cry But they're trying not to So am I, but I won't Just to spite you Green doors broke in the place where you hit it And I give it a kick Cause you never did fix it No, you never were one For finding a way When something's broken That's how it must stay Now you're gone I'm alone on moving day Leaves are falling from the trees Same as when we started here Like the leaves out in the yard We disappear The movers are here And they promise not to break the plates I wonder if my head will clear when we're in a new state Get in the car now the house is so empty Like the feeling inside Since the day that you left we had a lot of good times Living in that place You changed your mind and you laid them to waste Now you're gone I'm alone on moving day Now you're gone I'm alone on moving day It's moving day It's moving day Well, that was a kind of song about a broken marriage. And um, this is a song about a marriage that's still standing. It's a song I played the other night at the show. And uh, my husband had never heard it before, so it was 
kind of special for me to play it for him there. <laughs> when we made our vows to heaven, oh, we never thought about how love grows old. Well, even healthy trees run out of sap. Baby, we're stronger than that. And when I look at you, I see too much. I try to walk away when things get rough. But every time I do, I come right back. Cause baby, we're stronger than that We're stronger than the fairy tales Diaper pails Lack of heat Urge to cheat Shattered hopes Tired jokes Doctor bills Urge to kill And when we have another argument you wonder where your feelings for me went well even sugar peas run out of snap baby we're stronger than that we're stronger than the tv shows runny nose wedding ring same old Lousy job, car was robbed, man and wife, same old life. When we fall in love, we are so blind. Sometimes I'd like to leave you far behind. Look how our wedding china's chipped and cracked. Baby, we're stronger than that. Baby, we're stronger than that. Baby, we're stronger than that. That's a hopeful tune. Yeah. I realized that I had not written a positive love song, maybe ever, <laughs> <laughs> and maybe that song is not completely positive, but... It's hopeful. It's hopeful, right? What more can you expect in 1992? Right. We're here with uh, Ms. Amy McMahon-Rigby. Amy is the uh, primary songwriter of the group The Shams and uh, was a member of The Last Roundup a rounder recording artist, if so to speak. <laughs> yes, that's true. I still have a box of <laughs> records and tapes last of round, that rounder release. That last, r- last roundup uh, group was a group around New York up until maybe five or six years ago that comprised of Angel Dean and Amy McMahon and uh, her brother Michael McMahon. And who else was in that combo? Well, Garth. um... Amanda and Sue, who are in the Shams now, were in the original Last Roundup, along with uh, a girl named Angela Yeager. And um, I'm trying to think if there was anybody else. Um, That's about it. So, Amy, you write your songs. um, You don't write your songs with your husband, Will, around, do you? No, never. (laughs) (laughs) I I have to be completely alone (laughs) to write. Although alone could mean riding the subway Uh or working in my office, you know, just somewhere where I'm not. So does that mean you write them in your head before you're even singing them? Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'll, you know, sit down with the guitar with the intention of writing. Uh But other times, you know, maybe I'll be dozing, trying to take a nap or something and think of a song or be coming home on the train or something. Have, Have you had any of your songs ever covered by other people? Um, performed by other maybe folks. Maybe in performance. But not... Not on record that I know of. Don't you think it's about time? Oh, definitely. I'm <laughs> available. <laughs> For any, any of you songstresses or... I don't know. I, I did write this one song 
which I don't know, maybe I'll do it. I just I can hear Brian Setzer doing this song. I don't know why. But <laughs> <laughs> Is he still alive? He's still alive, and you know I think he's a pretty rocking guy, and um, you know I want to start writing for men to you know kind of give me twice the mark. <laughs> you know, don't just write songs that women can sing, but ones that men can sing too. So play us some more tunes. Okay, maybe I, I'll play this one. In case Brian is listening, <laughs> Amy McMahon Rigby. Yeah, it's sort of, sort of from a male point of view. Although I don't know, a female's idea of what a male point of view might be. <laughs> don't even try to know her. Love is just a children's game Make sure you say when it's over That women are all the same Well, you can laugh if you want to But it's true You're scared of being Take a tip from the world's biggest fool Make sure you forget her birthday Go out and drink with your friends Pick up a book when she's crying Call her a bitch when it ends Well, there are hundreds of ways to be cruel You've only thought of a few But I've tried everyone And they get the job done Take a tip from the world's biggest fool She says that she loves you Where does that leave you? With pain and responsibility You've got what it takes to Get her to hate you Use it and you'll wind up just like me Tell her about your old girlfriends How she can't quite measure up Make fun of things she believes in Tell her she's too fat to love Yeah, you can laugh if you want to But it's true these are things they don't teach you in school So I'm cluing you in Play dirty and win Take a tip from the world's biggest fool Just a tip from the world's biggest fool Well, that was rough. <laughs> I've never really played that one before. Brian Setzer, if you're out there. <laughs> I don't know, or maybe, you know, Jim Lauderdale. Maybe. <laughs> Jim. How about Leanne Smith? <laughs> Leanne Smith. So that was called The World's Biggest Fool. The World's it? Biggest Fool. You know, Jim Lauderdale does have a song called The King of Broken Hearts. Right. So he may. Although he certainly writes many of his own fun songs, but... Oh, that was scary. I mean, most of my songs I've played, maybe never on the radio before, but certainly around my own living room. 
well, quite this, a bit, but that one I had not. We try and make this place seem as much like your living room as right, possible. Right, well, it does, and God, that's why I dragged that one out, and <laughs> now I'm kind of regretting it. But <laughs> <laughs> The only thing we're missing here is, you know, your daughter and My uh, daughter, the right, diaper which pail. I, I can never uh, perform, play a song in front of my daughter. She immediately starts saying, stop playing, <laughs> pay attention to me. <laughs> you know, she doesn't, she'll hit the guitar out of my hands. You just wait. She'll be so proud of you one of these days. Right, she'll be, we'll she'll be, cover act going. She'll be <laughs> covering all your tunes. <laughs> Something like that. Oh. You're listening to the music of Amy McMahon Rigby, a Brooklyn resident. So, uh, plying us with her tune. Should I play another song? Please feel free. Okay. Um, how about... Let's see. How about a little fantasy number? Okay. He had a face... Like no one I've seen before He even wore a different kind of clothes Than a lot of other people wore And he was gonna steal my heart Or at least he demanded And I couldn't say no To the man from He spoke to me in a language that I understood He even laughed at my jokes He told me I should be in Hollywood He really led me on As if he had planned it And I gave all I had To the man treated me like I was no ordinary girl Every night he would take me out of this world He held my hand like he was never letting He disappeared, and how he got here I will never know. But when I kiss another guy, I barely can stand it. Cause no one can compare to the man from another planet. And I gave up. Next one, I'm gonna make this go to return. This is about, um, well, I work in an office and, um, I type the lyrics to this one on my computer, um, and the person who I wrote it about was just like going through documents and she saw the words and she said, she came over to me and she said, I just read these words on the computer and I swear that's about me and I and it was in fact a song about her and but you denied the whole thing <laughs> no I mean I intended to tell her or to play her the song someday but I just you know like she found them she was searching the documents and found them like the day after I typed them there and so I was kind of not prepared really for her to see them but She's always kind of telling me about her love life and 
I live vicariously since I'm married and just kind of... So I hope she was flattered. Oh, she was very flattered. <laughs> <laughs> she loved it, but... Fill your stockings up a little too tight And you think your thoughts just a little too bright And when you walk your steps just a little too light And you're too much woman for any man Considered women but they're all too small for you You give him your number but you know he won't call He's got no excuse except he's got no balls And you're too much woman for any man Maybe there's someone out there An Einstein in a Cadillac Who'd appreciate a girl who knows how to knock them back? Maybe there's someone out there, a plumber with a PhD. So deep, so sweet, knows how to play for Keith. <laughs> Too much woman for any man You play your dramas out a little too loud And you make your mama just a little too proud And you're way too dominant out in a crowd Because you're too much woman for any man you Can't follow Jesus cause you got no faith But if he came to town you'd ask him for a date I bet he'd think about it but he'd hesitate Because you're too much woman for any man Maybe there's someone out there, a sailor in a tailored suit, who'd appreciate a girl who's the other side of cute. Maybe there's someone out there, Picasso in a pickup truck, real dark, real smart, knows how to trust his love. Set your sights up just a little too high And you keep bending over trying to touch the sky Then you get disappointed and you wonder why Because you're too much woman for any man Too much woman for any man Too much woman for any man She's a, she's a large woman. <laughs> Amy McMahon Rigby, singing songs for all kinds of folk. Amy, you, are you, these are songs you're singing tonight that you don't perform with your group, The Shams? Yeah, well, we might work that one up, actually. Do you write songs specifically for that group that well, you're thinking of? Um, in going over my songs to come here tonight, I did find that there is a certain type of song that of mine that we do, which tend to be the ones with more like a standard A B A B type, you know, verse chorus. Mm -hmm. Verse chorus. Whereas a lot of songs we don't do that I like to write are more. Um, I don't know what you call them, but where the phrase, you know, the key phrase is like at the end of the verse. Mm -hmm. And doesn't go into the standard chorus, so. So those are the ones that you're you're trying to figure out where to perform them, or. Yeah, you know, I, you know, I I like them, and I like people to hear them, and so. Yeah, I'm looking to perform more by myself. I've never really done it at mm -hmm. all. In fact, this is absolutely the first. <laughs> time I've ever been on the radio by myself, I've been on WFMU with the Shams and with Last Roundup, and um, you know, I just have to. I'm 33. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I write all these songs, and I don't know. I've just got to push myself in every way possible um, if I want to make any any way in the music world. Um, I don't know. I'd like to make money from music. Is that too much to ask? Nope. 
Um, I work very hard at it, and you know, but I also have to do other things, Mm -hmm. unfortunately. But you know, so anyway, I'm just making an attempt to get out there and. Well, it's certainly fine to hear them. It's really nice. Should I do any more? Oh yes, please continue. We have plenty of time. This next song, I'm. I know that Sid Straw is always telling me what a great song it is and I'm begging her like please do it (laughs) some night you know I just love her voice and would love to hear her sing it because I know she'd do it so beautifully but um, I'm going to play it and maybe then you all when you go see Sid you can yell out for the song and (laughs) she'll just stick it in I take it she's already learned it she knows the song yeah it's real easy to learn so dream He seems so sweet and dear But in reality His motives weren't so clear And I have tried for days But I can't seem to find Fell when he was just someone I had in mind. Now, every time I'm with him, I keep wanting to return to when he was a lesson that I couldn't wait to learn. I don't know how to tell him without being unkind. I loved him more when he was just someone I had in mind. When he was just someone to dream. But now that he is real, I have my doubts that this was meant to be. Some people think I'm lucky, I guess wishes do come true. But when I wanted him to want me Thought that I would want him to And I have tried for days But I can't seem to find The way I felt when he was Just someone I had in him more when he was just someone I had in mind and Sid if you're listening <laughs> what's the name of that song uh, just someone I had in mind. So, a- actually, anyone, if you're listening, or yeah, or Angel, you know, if you happen to be uh, out at a Sid at a Sid Straw concert, the request is. I just want to hear some great female singer, Emmy Lou Harris. You know, just some great female singer sing that song. So. Shouldn't be too tough to manage. Right. I hope. I mean, I know they're always looking for good singers. Should I do another? Yes, please do. Okay. You're listening to the music of Amy McMahon Rigby, who is with us here this evening. Could I mention that um, the Shams are playing um, 
at the Eagle Tavern on November 12th. It's a Saturday. You mean December 12th? Oh, I'm sorry, December 12th. I can't believe the year's already over. Yeah. <laughs> December 12th at the Eagle Tavern. Which is on 14th, just east of, uh, what is it, 9th Avenue? Right, around the corner from the Big Cow <laughs> at the old Homestead restaurant. People always say, I don't know where that is, and then you say, I don't know the Big Cow. <laughs> and then they know what you're talking about. So, And also we're playing in, for those of you Jersey people, um, at T-Birds in Asbury Park. Um, we're playing Friday, December 12th. No, so. that's the same day. Oh, <laughs> Friday, December 11th. Okay, let's get this straight. So F- Friday, December 11th at T-Birds, T-Birds in right. Asbury Park. I don't have my calendar. Is that appearing with someone else, or what's that? what kind of place is that? Um, well, it's it's an interesting place where they're kind of trying to have sort of acoustic music. Um and we'll probably there'll probably be some other maybe singer songwriter types on the bill with us. We've played there before, um, and I know they've had like Kirsten Hall um, that play with the Indigo Girls um, play there, and Preston Smith, who's like a New York mm-hmm. songwriter, he's played there. And, um, so that's called T Birds. Yeah, it's kind of you know quiet listening atmosphere and it's in Asbury Park. And then Saturday, December twelfth at the Eagle Tavern <laughs> on Fourteenth Street. That's right. The Eagle Tavern. And that's an early show. It's at eight thirty. And that's with your group the Shams. And that's with the Shams. And um that's a nice room also to hear music. It's kinda like you're at a wedding reception or <laughs> not even a wedding reception. You're at the rehearsal dinner the night before. <laughs> that's kind of what it's like, so it's just, you know, a kind of friendly place. Not that it doesn't hold that many people, but tables and chairs. And and then there's the Irish bar in the front. So that's kind of a good place. Um, so I'm just looking for a song to play. Do you ever um, sing any of your old songs from, from back in the last Roundup last days? One. Well, I was thinking of doing one, actually. I mean, I haven't been doing them, but... This is one from sort of the latter day, last roundup, which I don't know, maybe you're not even, Nick, maybe you're not familiar with, I don't know. But um, I haven't, but yeah, I kind of miss some of those old songs. Um, so maybe I'll be working a few of them up. There's some good ones. This one's called, he's not in there. I bought a brand new frame for this picture It's one of him when he was still around I hung it up last night And the damn thing came to life I could swear that his eyes watch me up and down They watch me as I went about my business They watch me as I tried to sit and read They followed me to bed I could see him turn his head And I thought this is the last thing that I need He's haunting me He's taunting me He's making sure that I don't rest too easily He's scaring me I'm going to stop now. I just don't want to do the rest of that one. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's okay. It's just kind of... This uh, is just like your living room here. I know, and that's why I feel perfectly comfortable <laughs> just breaking in there and, I don't know, why torture myself? 
I kind of started it too slow, and I don't know. Couldn't quite hit that note. So That's okay. Let's think of another one. None of us are really here. <laughs> You're not really there. I know, I'm totally in a dream world. You're actually in radio land. Radio land is even worse. And this is uh, <laughs> this is WFMU, Uppsala College, East Orange, New Jersey. You're listening to the Music Faucet, WFMU's uh, weekly live music program, which is tonight, um, this week, last week, we've begun airing this program at 6 p.m. And Bronwyn C. has moved to Friday afternoons. And uh, it's truly a pleasure to be here early enough for you all to be listening. So you can relax and go to bed afterwards if you're so inclined. It is Sunday evening, and uh, this is a program for you, the listener, to hear live musical performance in our studios and sometimes in a variety of different clubs. My name's Nick. I'm here with Laura Cantrell. And our guests this evening are Leanne Smith, who will be up in a few moments, and uh, Amy McMahon Rigby, who is performing as we speak. So, I guess I'll just do one more. Oh, you, we have plenty of time, oh, really? so you can do as many as you like. Okay. Well, do you have a song you'd like to hear? Or I'm kind of like lost for direction. I don't know well, where to go with this. You know? I haven't heard you sing many of these songs, so it's really a pleasure to hear um, to hear all these songs that I've never heard before. Okay, so... So, you feel free to do anything you're so inclined. I saw you a, about six months ago perform at the Bell Cafe, and you did a bunch of songs there. Right. Probably some of these, but there was, uh, I think there was another one that your husband had never heard before. Oh, right. until then. He never hears my songs <laughs> till we're in a safe public place. That's the, uh, some people don't only feel safe, you know, in private, but for me to express myself really... Being in public is like the only place I really feel completely free to just say whatever is on my mind. <laughs> so, I don't know. Sometimes I feel, I hate to burden the public with That's okay. every thought. We can handle head, it. <laughs> what's that? That's what a songwriter's job is all right, about. I guess so. Okay, I'll do and that. And you do it in such a wonderfully abstract and humorous manner that makes people feel at ease. Well, this one, it's true. I did uh, play this for my husband for the first time that night at the Bell Cafe. And, um, so and he was, I could kind of see his jaw drop. Because <laughs> I think, I don't know if he knew the person it was about. I mean, you know, any man, I write a song about it's like a composite man. <laughs> it's never like, it's never really all Will or all, you know, whoever. It's always a composite of every trait of every man I've ever come up against. There's a new there's a title for your next tune. Composite, <laughs> Composite man. Composite man, right. <laughs> uh, so anyway, and yeah, I wouldn't want any man to flatter himself and think like that this song is about him. I know at least one or two who might like to think it is about them, but <laughs> you know, if they're listening, it's sort of about you, but not really. Just kind of a generalized male figure. If you're listening, tune out now. <laughs> don't you, don't you come around here, don't you try to mess with my heart. I got a real congenital fear of falling apart. You just stay on that side of the door. Don't even tell me what you came here for Don't try to start what you can't finish Finish what you can't start I said a fee fi fo fum Something's really making me sweat I mean you're making me forget What I swear to God I wouldn't forget Go plant your feet in some other girl's yard And find another street to park your car Don't try to start what you can't finish Finish what you can't start you're very nice, it's true So what's a wife and a mother to do? You have a lot of charm But there's a ring on the hand at the end of my arm I'm like a kid in a candy store Wishing for a piece of cake You're like a truck on an upgrade Thinking you should put on the brakes 
Your good looks ain't gonna get you far. Go check them out in the mirror at the nearest bar. Don't try to start what you can't finish. Finish what you can't start. You have a lot of nerve for wanting things that you don't deserve. You have a lack of class. The way you come sneaking back like a snake in the grass. Don't you come around here. Don't you try to mess with my life. I mean, we don't need you causing undue marital strife. There's lots of single women in these parts. Could use a man like you to come and break their hearts. Don't try to start what you can't finish. Finish what you don't start what you can't finish. Finish what you don't start what you can't finish. Finish what you can't start. <laughs> That's a great tune. <laughs> I I did mean it when I wrote it, even if you know, it wasn't specifically aimed at that one particular person. Um, this next song um, is more, I don't know, it's one I completely forgot about till I was trying to get some songs together. And it's one of those songs I don't even really know what it means, and I didn't really even write it. It's just a bunch of words that sort of um, came out um, kind of in a dream. But it always makes me really sad when I sing it. I don't, I don't so anyway. And as she said, take a look at yourself, you're gonna ruin your life, you're gonna wreck your health, look at me. I've been there before Nothing is new under this old sun You've got to face the facts Don't try to run or hide away Behind that same old door Cause it all shows in your face The wasted Time the sense of being out of place The race to get it over with And there's nothing you can do To keep the blues from finding you They always will Cause they know where you live know where you live and as she said there's a lot to be learned from facing the fire and letting it burn it's a fact but they don't tell you twice virtue is not rewarded as such you don't Ask for too little and then get too much Yes, it's true It don't pay to be nice And it all shows in your face The wasted time The sense of being out of place The race to get it over with And there's nothing you can do to keep the blues from finding you. They always will. Cause they know where you live. The blues know where you live. The blues know where you live. The blues know where you live. Well, Amy McMahon Rigby, thank you very much oh, for thank you, Laura, joining us here on the Live Music Faucet and performing for the listening audience at WFMU. I guess it's time to say goodbye. Well, and say hello to the end. <laughs> We're gonna. I think I think we've got time for another song. If you um, want. No, I'm ready to go. That oh, one sort want? of sums up my whole <laughs> life. I don't know. Kind of. I'm ready to leave on that. 
No. Well, it's certainly a pleasure having you come out and yes, play thank you very here. Much. Also, I think that we should say again to the listening audience that uh, Amy McMahon Rigby is going to be playing in our listening audience area on December 11th, a Friday night at T Birds. T Birds in Asbury Park. And the following night, Saturday, December 12th, at the Eagle Tavern on 14th Street and 9th Avenue. And uh, early show, 8:30. Are both of those are early? Um, I don't know about T-Birds. It's probably more like... But the Eagle Tavern is an early evening performance. It is early, yeah. So that you can get back and... Do, do you get to perform in front of your daughter, Hazel, very often? Well, I mean, in, in uh, public places? The last time she came was, in fact, at the Eagle Tavern, and she was a complete brat. Had to be dragged out of the place screaming and then brought back in and... It was completely distracting having her there. Um, so maybe when she's a little older, but, you know, when kids are, she's four, and when kids are that age, they're the center of the universe. They don't know that, you know, they can't really do that. And so she doesn't really get to see me perform that much. She doesn't want to see me perform. Really? She doesn't want to see me up on stage. She wants it's probably to. good for her, too, though. Right, right. Well, I guess next time we'll, like, strap her and we'll see her. <laughs> Use a gag and restraints, and maybe that'll work. you got to get her... Uh, sort of like her a shock therapy. Her type. favorite uncle or something like that to keep her... Keep occupied. Her, yeah. Keep her occupied and, and enjoying the performance. Dancing, if you will. Right. <laughs> yeah, you could get her a little clogging outfit. Right, put her up on stage and then with she me, and I'm sure she'd be be a true show business child. <laughs> <laughs> that was my fantasy. Didn't happen for me. <laughs> well, we've been listening, and uh, I've certainly been enjoying the music of Amy McMahon Rigby. And um, I just have always loved your songs ever since I first started hearing them many years ago. And I think that they darn well should be covered by other people and performed by uh, the myriad many for millions of listeners. Thanks. Amy McMahon Rigby, thank you for uh, coming down. Thanks for driving me out here. <laughs> <laughs> In my white uh, Nova. Uh, Laura? Yes, sir. Well, you know, we got all these things here. We have Leanne about to come up and perform in a That's little while. Right. Leanne Smith is a, a songwriter, singer from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And, uh, and since coming to New York a few years ago, has performed with the sh with Shack Wacky, which was a combo she had with Angel Dean. And, um, and, uh, and more recently has be uh, begun performing a few solo performances.